Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice maths problem from here? We have 16 raised to power x plus 44 raised to power x equals to 121 raised to power x. Now from here, let's divide through by 16 raised to power x so that we have 16 raised to power x divided by 16 raised to power x then plus. Here we have 44 raised to power x and divided by 16 raised to power x also equals to 121 raised to power x then divided by 16 raised to power x and on this side this we cancel out will remain 1 so we have 1 plus here we apply the law of indices and this will be 44 over 16 all raised to power x and equals to here we have 121 over 16 or raised to power x then we can reduce this fraction inside here and the 4 we go in 44 also 4 we go in 16 so that will become 1 plus 11 over 4 left then raised to power x and equals to here we can express 121 as 11 square and 16 here as 4 square so we can have 11 over 4 all square now then also which is raised to power x from here then when we check this from the law of indices this power can be interchanged and this will give us 1 plus 11 over 4 which is raised to power x now equals to here we have 11 over 4 now raised to power x then which is raised to power 2 from here then here we have 11 over 4 common let's a letter so let u be equals to 11 over 4 then from here that's 11 over 4 raised to power x then we replace 11 over 4 raised to power x as u then this becomes 1 plus u equals to u squared so let's use this to form a quadratic equation and then <coughs> let's separate everything to this side now this now becomes u squared minus u minus 1 then equals to 0 so using the quadratic formula which is u equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and here a is 1 b is minus 1 and c is also minus 1 so u then becomes minus b that's minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square then minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 then over 2 times 1 and here we have u equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4 then over 2 and here you give us 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2 so we have two possible values of u here we have u equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 and also we have u here equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 then we should recall that we represented u as 11 over 4 all raised to power x so that's what we represented u as so from here we can say it is 11 over 4 which is raised to power x now equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 from here then similarly here we have 11 over 4 raised to power x which is equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 now from this side we have positive and uh, this also will give us a positive number so here this one is 
accepted then when we have here we have positive and this side will be negative so this one this side will be rejected from here so this side will be rejected from here we can proceed on that side and here let's take the log on both sides then we have log 11 over 4 raised to power x and equals to here we have log 1 plus root 5 over 2 and when we apply the power law of logarithm here so x log 11 over 4 now will then be equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 then here yeah, let's divide both sides by log 11 over 4 so we have to divide by log 11 over 4 and also here yeah, divide by log 11 over 4 then log 11 over 4 cancel out here and we are left with x which is equals to here we can separate this into two log then we have division which will be subtraction on log log reading so we have log 1 plus root 5 now then minus log 2 there then over here this gives us log 11 minus log 4 and log 4 there same thing as log 2 square and from the law of logarithm, this power can come to the back and this will become 2 log 2 from here. So minus 2 log 2 from there. And here, this becomes x equals to log 1 plus root 5, same thing as 0 0.510. Then minus log 2 gives us 0 0.301. Then divided by log 11, we have 1.041, then minus 2 times log 2, that's 0 0.301. And here, up here, this gives us x equals to, we have 0 0.209 up there, then divided by here. When we multiply this, we have 0 0.602, then we subtract this from this, that gives us 0 0.439. Then the division here will become x now will be equals to 0 0.476, which of course will be an approximate solution here. And uh, we have come to the end of this class. Don't forget to uh, subscribe for more exciting video. Turn on your notification bell. Share this video and give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you have a comment, put it in the comment section. See you in the next class. Okay. Bye for now.